you don't have a light oil, use water. Unless you have a dry stone. Dry stones are meant to be used dry, wet stones are meant to be used wet. And you have pretty much the same action. It's not much different. It's got a nice edge on it. I'll hone it down. Now, I didn't bring my belt out, but normally I bring my belt out to use as a strop when I have this knife. <laughs> Because this knife is, knife is such fine quality that, like I said, to straighten out those little serrations, you only need leather. You don't need any metal material, you just need leather because it's because it only needs hand. the very, very, very tip. Because it's only very microscopic little serrations on good quality blades. All right, we're gonna, I might, I might uh, cut this part of the video short. We're just gonna start at the top. We're gonna, Work our way back. Okay. Just try and hug the skin as best you can. This matters especially on pigs that have a lot of fat. Like bigger pigs that you intend on using for, you know, having bacon. This pig, I am going to just saw it in half so that we can have something to cook over. Uh, a spit for a family get together that we're having in a little what, couple of weeks. We're gonna okay. 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 That one. So better. we're just hugging the. Now there's this muscle right here. Try and hug the skin on that one. Once you get past it, it's fine, but it's like the, the flank. Okay, now make sure you always keep good pressure on the hide. Because if you let it loose, it, you can start cutting into the hide or start cutting into the meat. And it won't cut, it won't separate as easily as, per, as well. Okay, you can put good pressure as long as you're not angled too much toward the... And uh, this helps too, a little, a little hole in here. Unless you're going to use the hide, you don't want to prick the hide at all. But I'm not, I don't, I don't tan hides. Not, at least not right now, because it's just a lot of work, so I don't got time for that. Okay. This pig doesn't have a whole lot of fat on it, but it's got a good amount. It's got enough. I'm going to raise this up some more. Cause that's what it do. That's what it does. All right. All right. Okay, so we're gonna cut this back. Now you see how I'm saying about cutting the, or about washing the whole pig? You don't have to make sure the whole pig is spotless. As long as you don't go touching, this is like, we're in, we're, we're gonna be Middle Eastern right now. Your left hand's your dirty hand, your right hand's your clean hand. Just make sure your, right, your left hand doesn't touch the clean part and your clean hand doesn't touch the dirty part. Why does it have that pink? The, that's right. little blood vessels in the fat. Ow! Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to step on your foot. So yeah, the, the uh, so, like that. Hand. Try and make sure the hide doesn't flap back and uh, and touch that good clean fat right there. As long as you, as long as you, I'm kind of botching this, but it's okay. I'm trying to go kind of quick. So. Right. We're gonna take it off of this other side. Ok, 
okay this guy could use a good honing it doesn't it's not any trouble to take a minute and straighten out those burrs on the tip of your blade but it does tire you out and it takes forever if you don't have a sharp knife to work with see how much easier that is just two seconds took two seconds to hone that thing and it's just so much less less work for me so make sure you do that uh, sharpening material too is like a, a honer and uh, a good knife and a, a good stone it sometimes they're expensive rarely are they expensive but sometimes they are but it's just really worth it to get a good good something because this stuff lasts forever it's not like you're gonna wear down that hole it'll take you a lot of years to wear down that that um you know that sharpener and it'll take you a lot of years to wear down your knife uh yeah so all right so we're gonna come back here again start taking it back <sighs> This is gonna be my first video made for YouTube. I've made TikTok videos. I make TikTok videos teaching people how to about botany and how to identify plants and Native American and as well as modern and uh, European historical uses for plants and same with mushrooms. But uh, I need to make a YouTube appearance because I just need to start doing YouTube videos. So I just started making videos recently, so. All right, bud. Good job, bud. Look, Dad. My hands are all clean. Nice. Nice job. Can I touch the pig now? Uh, you're supposed to, t uh, well, yeah, you can touch the pig, but you got to wash your hands after you touch the pig. I did wash my hands. Okay. Mm hmm You gotta wash your hands after you touch the pig because touching this raw pig, this raw meat, can get you sick if you Alright, now there's that there's that flank again right there. You see that? It's connected to the hide. Run your knife against the hide really well. What's there's a little, little hole. What's that pink? That's right meat. There. And r make sure your knife stays right against the hide. See, I cut that a little bit, but it's okay. Oh. Just make sure your knife stays against the hide. And then that will stay on the pig, the carcass, or else it'll come off with the hide. Uh. All right, excuse me, Bubby. What's the hair inside of the hair? Hmm? What's the hair inside of the hair? What's the hair inside of the hair? What's those black spots? Those are hair follicles. Oh! Do we have hair follicles? Yeah. Too? We Ooh, do. Ooh, that's amazing. This pig is delicious meat. Yep. I love bacon. All right. I'm going to turn this off because I only got so much battery life, but uh, I'll be back here in a minute. I'm going to, I'll make sure I turn the camera on for anything important or anything special. All right. All right. Deuces.